Hey folks, why haven't you subscribed yet? Tell them, Lily. Hey folks, um, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video, I want to uh, go over uh, life in Lake Cretaceous uh, Appalachia, basically. Uh, almost all of our knowledge from uh, from the um, Mesozoic period or the, the, the period of the dinosaurs. Uh, almost all of our knowledge comes from um, out west, in the drier climates. Uh, there are a lot of uh, fossil deposits in Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, places like Utah, Nevada, um, New Mexico, uh, southern, uh, other parts of New Mexico is, uh, really popular, has a pretty good, uh, Triassic age, fo uh, fossils, um, I will be going over Coelophysis, uh, at one point, hopefully soon, uh, but as far as Cretaceous, North America, it is almost entirely um, the West. Uh, so, in the U.S., Montana, Wyoming, and those places, and then, of course, up into Canada and Alberta and places. Uh, Alaska has had some uh, dinosaur discoveries of uh, Cretaceous Age dinosaurs. Um, The east region, the east, eastern North America, is relatively, um, relatively, um, sparse on fossils, at least on, um, on, um, dinosaur fossils, um, mainly because of our environment. The, the mountains are green, um. The Appalachian Mountains are extremely old and uh, have eroded down past, uh, in most cases, down past the uh, alpine height and um, are now basically all covered in uh, trees and bushes and things. And there's a, with it being a really wet climate, at least compared to the western United States, uh, we don't have a lot of exposed, uh, rock or sand or anything like that. Uh, and the only time it is ever exposed, really, uh, there are a few, uh, natural exposures, um, uh, in particular river gorges, around rivers and that kind of thing, or, uh, road cuts and mining in the east. Uh, rivers in particular... Um, especially in Georgia, uh, Mississippi, Western Tennessee, those kind of places, those are where a lot of the dinosaur fossils have been found. Um, so, life in Eastern North America would have been fairly similar, uh, could have been fairly similar. We do know that um, there were a lot of similar species in the East region, Eastern North America and West. What a lot of people may not know, some a lot of you will, is that the middle of the nation, as seen in this map here, was uh, covered by an inland sea. Uh, that inland sea completely uh, dissected North America at one point. So you had um, Western North America and Eastern North America as two separate ecosystems. Uh, so the species were different. 
another thing that Eastern North America had a lot more landmass than Western North America, as you can see in the map, or I have seen in the map. Um, so we would not have necessarily had a species like T. rex or Triceratops, but the chances are pretty good because the sea divided North America in the, uh, the, the sea started in the middle, or early to middle Cretaceous, most likely, so we would have most likely had ceratopsians. We did have a tyrannosaur. Uh, we had had a hydrosaur that we know of. Uh, the only fossil fossilized dinosaur found in Tennessee has been a hydrosaur. Uh, so there are, let's start off with the animal that my channel, my, both of my channels, this channel as well as my gaming channel, are named after Dinosuchus. There were at least um, there was a species out west which was the larger of the two species, and there was an eastern species um, around the coastal areas uh, in what is now Georgia, Mississippi, and um, Tennessee. Uh, it also went up the Atlantic seaboard. The western species got close to 50 feet long, if not 50. The eastern species was not as big. Most likely, uh, estimates are around 30 to 35 feet. Uh, with 30 being most likely what it was. Um, still, that dwarfs all modern crocodiles by at least 10 feet. Uh, there have been there has been some say that uh, the saltwater crocodile and the Nile crocodile have reached over 23 or over 20 feet up to 23. That's not on official record, and that's kind of stretching it. So there was at least in the early part of the late Cretaceous these large crocodiles at least on, along the coast. There would have been other smaller crocodiles inland as well. Uh, the problem with where I live, the only fossil bearing rock that we have left is Pennsylvanian age. So it's um, at least 300 million years old and all of the uh, Cretaceous age rock has been eroded away. So there's no way that someone like me could go fossil hunting and find a dinosaur um, or evidence of any kind of dinosaurs in my area. Um, there, the, the, the hydrosaur that was found in Tennessee was found in western Tennessee. Um, so let's go to hydrosaurs, which has been a, a very big, uh, most likely a prey source for the dinosuchus. Um, Hydrosaurus uh, was here. Uh, it most likely would have uh, traveled in herds um, and been preyed upon by uh, not only Dinosuchus but our resident Tyrannosaur, Apalachosaurus. Apalachosaurus was a smaller Tyrannosaur, most likely. Uh, 25 to 30 feet give or take uh, so it was not the 42 foot giant of T-Rex but it was a Tyrannosaur the smaller trans the thing of it is the smaller Tyrannosaurs tended to be lighter built and most likely better predators than uh, the 42 foot giants that T-Rex were I'm not saying T-Rex wasn't a predator it most certainly was um, there, there's evidence pointing to that. It's just that once a, a T-Rex wretch 42 feet long, mo it, it wasn't hunting a whole lot. It was doing more scavenging. Most likely, there would have also been dromaeosaurs in eastern North America. 
uh, they were prevalent throughout much of the northern hemisphere um, throughout the Cretaceous. So, uh, raptors, if you will. Um, those are species I, I do not, I've not found any evidence of one being found. Most likely there would have been, and it would have been a unique species. It wouldn't have been a Velociraptor. It wouldn't have been a Deinonychus or Deinonychus uh, or a Archaeoraptor or Dakota Raptor or any of those. It would have been most likely its own species. Um, if it, it may have been in a similar, a same genus as one of those, but it most likely would have been its own species. Um, things like Pteranodon, the uh, the pterosaur is here. Uh, those would have most likely have been here, as well as other pterosaurs. Though the pterosaurs were dropping off in the late Cretaceous, as were the dinosaurs for that matter. Um, their numbers were not nowhere near as well as they were even in the middle Cretaceous or peak before. Uh, so by the time the late Cretaceous rolled around, a lot of the dinosaur numbers were dropping as well as a lot of the uh, numbers of species of pterosaurs and even the marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and mosasaurs. Uh, so the, 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 the thing that killed the dinosaurs had help because the dinosaurs were dying out naturally as it was. Um, along with those there would have been other, been other birds, um, both flying birds, uh, a very, they were, although they would be primitive, as well as uh, terrestrial birds. Uh, Hesperanus, if I'm saying that right, is here. Uh, it's, um, the skeleton of one, it's kind of like a cormorant. Um, these, uh, these birds, the Hesperanus, would have been uh, fairly large, uh, close to six feet tall. Um, you would have had smaller freshwater crocodiles inland this far. Um, most likely, uh, there has been evidence of um, notosaurs, uh, which are armored dinosaurs, much like this one here. Uh, there would have been a pretty good chance species along the lines of Botrolodon uh, would have been there. Uh, there would have been a bunch of different types of turtles um, and that kind of thing. Mammals. It would have been mammals, um, small mammals. Uh, they would have fed on things like insects, lizards, snakes, um, that kind of thing, as well as uh, possibly dinosaur eggs. Uh, so, although the evidence is small, and what the evidence we have is somewhat fragmented. Uh, so, most of the Things like uh, Dinosuchus. The evidence of Dinosuchus comes in uh, fossil fragments. There are, the fossils are a lot more fragmented. Um, it's very difficult to find an intact skeleton here. I mean, it's very difficult to find an intact skeleton anywhere. If you find one, you pretty much better not buy a lottery ticket because you're not going to win the lottery if you find an intact skeleton of a dinosaur. Uh, but, um, you're not going to find those. You're going to be more out to find, as far as something like dinosaurs, you're going to find teeth or scutes, uh, maybe, uh, skull fragments, uh, the same with, uh, uh the same with, uh, hydrosaurs and any kind of, any of the other dinosaurs, you, you'll be, it'll be very fragmented, uh, for the simple fact that. The places to find these are rivers and road cuts and that kind of thing. So, although eastern North America is overlooked, especially when it comes to Cretaceous, there are a lot that can still be learned. Uh, going back 
even further. Uh, the eastern United States, especially in the northeast, has a lot of dinosaur trackways. Uh, although the, the uh, bones haven't been found, there have been a lot of dinosaur trackways found. Uh, and uh, a lot of those have been uh, Triassic and early Jurassic trackways. There's a lot can be learned from those as well. So this this video was not um, this video was at least giving some information on the things that uh, lived here. Although the information is very limited compared to Western North America. Um, I mean, if you look at T. Rex, that is probably the most studied dinosaur and probably has more specimens, more large skeletons than almost any other dinosaur. That doesn't mean there were more T-Rex, and this just means that for some reason there isn't a, an odd a large amount of T-Rex is found where there haven't been things like um, or there haven't been other dinosaurs. Now, take, keep in mind, you have a giant bone bed in the Jurassic period in the Dinosaur National Monument. There are other bone beds throughout North America, um, both in the United States as well as up into Canada, where hundreds of uh, species have been found, in particular, uh, hundreds of a singular species. There's a large bone bed of um, Ceratopsian dinosaurs up in Alberta, I think, that was discovered. Um, most likely, it appears because the bones have been um, all buried at once, it most likely was an event where they were crossing a river and a flash flood hit, or they were crossing a river during a flood and a lot of individuals uh, to come to the um, high water levels so I hope you all enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you've not subscribed you subscribe I'd love to see this channel grow some more I'm hoping to get my content better just give me time uh, also if you have not subscribed to my gaming channel and you enjoy things like Magic the Gathering, D&D, and that kind of thing, go subscribe to that channel. Um, I would like to do some videos on um, video games at one point if I can, although I have to be very careful with those. But... Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Um, and uh, just continue learning.